Hey guys, so welcome back to another episode of Wearables and Tech. On this episode, since I've been waiting for this for a day already, I can finally make this video. So welcome back to another episode of Wearables and Tech. Or should I say, welcome back to Black Friday Tech. Since this is Black Friday 2020, Yes! Let's see what we have in this box today. Could it be? Oh yes it is. Let's see what's under this label. So what is this? It's the new Roku Ultra streaming player that costs originally a hundred bucks, but since Black Friday has arrived, I got this for only seventy bucks. Nice deal, huh? And what I like is that it pictures HD and 4K quality plus Vivid HDR color, and it supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and Bluetooth, along with AirPlay and HomeKit. You know. AirPlay, where you can stream or even cast from your iOS devices. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, you can, it'll be great for HD and 4K TVs, and what's included is a Roku Ultra streaming player, a voice remote with TV controls and personal shortcuts, headphones for private listening, two AA batteries, and a premium high-speed HDMI cable, and a power adapter. I like the HDMI cable part because on previous Rokus, it didn't come with an HDMI cable, and I was going to be prepared for that, but I won't need to because it already comes with one. Yeah. So, and many people like this, and it has a quad-core processor, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, you can see that. 4K HDR, 1080p, and 720p HD streaming, up to 60 frames per second. Ultra fast, voice searching controls, live TV without cable, and fully loaded and ultra fast. This works with Google Assistant, but it also works with Alexa. Good thing it didn't activate. And it's their best wireless, ultra fast wireless, with up to 50% more range which is the highest amount of range that you can get in a streaming player. And it's the America's number one TV streaming platform. Wow. And you get that QR code right there. You can stream TV, live news, sports movies, music, and more. For the moment of truth, here we go. Look at that. This is the Roku Ultra. Wow, it looks a little bigger than I expected it to be. Holy. You have the Roku tag. I love that tag. And you have the USB, HDMI, Ethernet, and power adapter so that way you can connect it to wireless or Ethernet. And it has the USB port, which I like. Because you can put in a flash drive and view your videos and photos in there and there's the lost remote finder and we have this thing which is the uh, air blaster i'm guessing let me just remove this here ah oh, yeah now what do we have here what's included Ooh, the roku ultra quick start guide Look at that. We got the Roku Ultra Quick Start Guide. Some important product information. Let's put that to the side and we, ooh, stickers. Yay. Now we have enhanced voice remote. Ooh, look at that. We have TV power, volume, mute, voice button, up, down, left, right, okay. The home button, the replay button, the star button, back button, I think I said that. The rewind, fast forward. Seriously, 
and <laughs> the play button. We have the channel shortcut buttons, and you have personal shortcut buttons, which was available since the 2019 Roku Ultra. And you have some plastic peel. Oh, yeah. And keep in mind, this is an RF remote, because as you can see here, there's a light indicator, which on my Roku SC, there wasn't a light indicator, which is not an enhanced remote. I like the feel on the remote. Though, and the buttons. ASMR. So we have the Roku Ultra, voice remote, and we have more accessories in here. Wow, Roku can actually pack a bunch in here. So we have the power adapter. We have the premium high speed HDMI cable. I like the Velcro that comes with the thing. How do I take this off? And look at that. And look at that. I think it's like a few feet long. Look at this. And next up you have some premium headphones for private listening. Wow, you have the headphone port because there is also a headphone jack for private listening. You can also use the Roku mobile app if you want to use your own headphones for private listening or use these for private listening if yours comes with a headphone jack, but you can always get an adapter for that. So, and you have even more ear tips. I think these come with the medium ear tips. I think right here is the small and large ear tips. Look at that. These are the large ear tips and these are the small ear tips. But I'm going to try these out. And it's cool thing that they have a bunch of ear tips. I'm gonna set those aside. And finally, we have some AA batteries. Nice. Gotta be putting those in the remote. And those are all the things from the Roku Ultra. I'll just put some things away. Oh, I forgot. You also have a reset button. Which has a good feel and click. We're going to have to find an input on the HDMI input that's available. We're going to be using the HDMI ARC port on my Roku TV. You're going to have to notice which HDMI input that you use, okay? I forgot to mention that this Roku remote that comes with the Ultra has these little holes here. That's for the lost remote finder. So that's a unique feature. And one end of the input would go into your TV and the other end would go into your Ultra. Now let's connect it to the power and turn it on. But first, I zoomed in on the Roku TV because this next step is you'll have to go into input, source, or something similar. I'm gonna just power on my TV to toggle to the same input that you use to connect your Roku Ultra. Ooh, new features. Now I'm just gonna, you know, change the name of the Roku and change the icon too. I love that sound. You hear that? Let's just pick an icon. Nice. Just toggle down to the Roku Ultra. If you're using a Roku TV, you could just find the channel of the same input that you use for the Roku Ultra and then select it. Don't worry, you won't see anything on the screen just yet. Now, uh oh. Now let's power it. So, take your cable. You're gonna need it. So, one end will go into the power port on the Roku Ultra, while the other end will plug into your favorite wall outlet. Look at that. It's booting up. Do you see how cool that logo is? And do you see that LED? 
Now, let's set up the remote. Take your remote, put in the AA batteries. A light on the remote will automatically illuminate right away. If it doesn't work for you, try a fresh set of batteries or press and hold the pairing button for five seconds. Now let's get started. Now let's select English, wireless obviously. It's looking for wireless networks. Since I don't have any, a router or modem nearby, well, I'm a, mostly connected to a router, but since I don't have that nearby, I would just go for wireless. Okay, now I, now I just put in the password and now it's checking for wireless connection. And it's connected. If you see all two checks are green, you're good to go. And if a red X appears at any time, you can find troubleshooting tips at their website. Now your Roku player will update to get the latest software. Once it installs, it will restart automatically. Okay. All right. Wow, that was snappy. It updated really fast. That's snappy quad core power. And now it will need to detect your display type. Okay, full high definition, HDCP 1.4. Okay, go to automatic. Yeah, the screen looks good. Now, you'll need to activate your Roku player. Now you'll need to enter your email address to get a Roku activation link and start streaming. Now it shows you the remote control battery. This is what I was looking for. Your TV power and volume can be controlled with your Roku remote. Check remote settings. Oh, there we go. At TV code 7, it stopped playing. Success! Alright. Okay. Now, it'll download and update your channels and this year has 4k hdr and you will need a supporting tv to use tv power volume and mute buttons here here's the tv power here's the volume and here's the mute once all the channel downloads are complete you'll see this screen look at this Ooh, you can use a voice to open the channel that you want to see. Let's see. Disney Plus. Nice. And you can actually... Did you know that you can actually use personal shortcut buttons now? You have channel shortcut buttons here. You can use personal shortcut buttons here. So, I'll show you how to. First... You'll have to say command on the voice remote by holding on the voice button. And then after you do that, immediately press and hold the shortcut button that you want to use. You'll hear a beep when, when the personal shortcut button is complete. Now that's really cool. So if you want to do something else, let's say Stranger Things. It'll show you Stranger Things here, and you can be able to go to go to where it's streaming. That's really cool. If you lose your remote like I always do, you can actually press the the slow loss remote finder button. It'll signal the remote, and once it finds the remote, it'll play a beep. Do you hear that? I think you can actually configure the sound like sonar. Cool, huh? I've been wondering what that is for a while. You'll be redirected to AirPlay? Now, I'm just gonna go into one of my videos. This is my latest video, by the way. I'll be 
We went in and tapped in the cast button. The airplay and Bluetooth. Now it'll cast your Roku. Oh, that's a nice animation. Now I can just stop casting. That's a cool feature. Awesome. Now let's go into HomeKit. Go into Add Accessory. Now let's just scan the code. Add to Home. Connect in the set top box. Your device set up with HomeKit as Kalos Roku Ultra. You can always change the name at any time. When I leave, turn off. Continue. The set top box is added. Nice. So that way I can control that with Siri. Okay, now that I have HomeKit set up, now let me just do its thing. All right, ready? Hey Siri, turn off Kalos Roku Ultra. Done. There you go. It'll shut off the TV just like that. Now let's turn it on again. Hey Siri, turn on Kalos Roku Ultra. Isn't this cool? Wow. This interface is so awesome. Look at this. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I got a lot of stuff to do to set up. So that way I can happily stream on this Roku Ultra. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Black Friday.